Hi, I'm here at Embedded World 2025 and I'm here with Douglas Benitez from Qualcomm and Alex Wood from Tria. So thank you both very much for joining me. Before we start, Pleasure Alex, be Alex, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, so my name's Alex Wood, I'm Marketing Director for Tria. Fantastic, and Douglas? I am uh, Douglas Benitez, Sales uh, and Business Development uh, Director for EMEA. Fantastic. So today I'd love to chat about a partnership that, that you guys have announced. Alex, why don't you tell us about the new product families that you've launched with Qualcomm Technology? So we're really excited to be debuting our full Qualcomm portfolio this year. Um, last year at the show we introduced the, um, the first two smart modules in the range, but we hadn't gone into mass production. But we're really happy to be launching our full range that includes our OSM modules, smart modules, ComHPC, um, and Com Express that use the new Dragonwing processes from Qualcomm. We're really happy to be able to launch Dragonwing at the show uh, yep. together with them, as well as leveraging the uh, Snapdragon X Elite range as well at the top end of the uh, top end of the spectrum. Fantastic. Tell us why did you choose Qualcomm Dragonwing processors? What are the benefits? Obviously, Qualcomm's very well recognized within the industry. Uh, everyone knows um, Qualcomm for the Snapdragon processors, for mobile um, capabilities. So there's a huge amount of interest uh, when we start to build Qualcomm into our embedded modules. Loads of engineers have been saying, how can we get this into our products? Yeah, what's, yeah. The, what's the performance like? The uh, benchmarking results have been absolutely fantastic. It's a really great combination of processing power and uh, efficiency at the same time. And what were your development priorities? Development priorities, the, they were twofold. So one was making sure that we had some uh, viable module solutions for customers. Um, it was really important that we had support from Qualcomm uh, when we were developing the modules and bringing it to market. Uh, the relationship with Qualcomm has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, the team has said, what do you need? We'll give you engineers. We'll make sure that you've got everything that you need in order to launch the modules. Yeah. I'm really happy with uh, the support that we've received. So those are the two elements of the, uh, of the development uh, relationship that we've had with Qualcomm. Excellent. Douglas, so I'll move on to you. Um, how is Qualcomm collaborating with companies like Tria to enable use cases? Yeah, we are super happy actually with uh, working with companies like Tria to enable them to adopt Qualcomm's Dragonwing portfolio. Actually, we we are set to build, to um, speed up and, and help industries for the next wave of digitalization with AI, if yeah. extremely efficient energy consumption and high performance CPUs. So we are enabling companies like Tria on bringing our technology into their boards so we can go together and work with multiple type of industries and use cases for the adoption of the new technologies on Qualcomm, AI uh, uh, that we are bringing across all of our, our products in our, in our lineup. And what are you most excited about, about this news, this partnership? Well, actually, TRIA has a global reach and the group is, 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 is a really important group. So together we can really make a difference in, so, in such a diverse type of ecosystems and in different industries, different uh, economy sectors that we're really excited to collaborate with them. Yeah, fantastic. Sticking with you, Douglas, um, I'm interested to hear what is the importance of, of on-device AI for, for industrial IoT? Yeah, that's, that's super important. There are a couple of elements that makes it super relevant for the industrial sector. One of them is latency. And there are multiple use cases where you need almost immediate response. So having on-device AI, so all the inference comes down to the device. This is extremely important. Second thing is privacy. So you have your data being, in, the inference running in the device, you, you, you can, you can uh, uh, make sure that your data stays in the premise because you do on-device AI or near-edge inference on, on our suite of uh, uh, edge inference as mm -hmm. well. So having that capability is very important for all industrial sectors, especially the ones that really need almost real-time yeah. uh, response. Yeah. And Alex, same question to you. What are your thoughts? Um, for me, what, what we've been just discussing with customers at the show is efficiency. Uh, obviously, there's massive concerns about power consumption with AI. It's very easy for a, for a developer using AI to just offload everything to data center yeah. and forget about how much power it's consuming and how efficient it is. When you bring those applications to the edge, you really need to focus on efficiency, yeah. balancing the power, uh, the power consumption and the processing power, but also focusing on the effectiveness of the application. So making sure that what you're designing is actually doing what it's supposed to do uh, without any sort of inefficient processing that's off in the cloud. Yeah. 
that relationship with Qualcomm has really enabled us to develop some. We've brought out a new Vision AI kit using the 6490 module, yep. as well as the new IQ9 module as well. Uh, and they're both performing fantastically. We've got some live demos on the, on the booth as well. Yeah, fantastic. Well, it sounds like you're both benefiting from the partnership. So thank you both for sharing your insights. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.